Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. 27 days ago, at the time of this recording, I went through my Desert Beetle Vivarium substrate and pulled out over 40 larvae. Three of them were identifiably blue death fainting beetle larvae. The other 40, I wasn't sure, but they all looked pretty similar in size and in all other identifying characteristics. I took a couple of them out and put them in the incubator at the same time as I did the blue death fanning beetle larvae. And this is what I found. Now this is obviously a desert tenebrionid and I figured it was probably from the genus Eleodes, but I wasn't sure which species it was. And so I contacted Invertebrate Dude. Invertebrate Dude has probably captive bred more species of desert tenebrionid beetles than, than anyone and definitely anybody that I know. And so I figured he would be the one to contact about this new little beetle that he closed in just 27 days or 26 days because this had closed yesterday and it may actually have closed a little bit earlier and just been under the substrate so it didn't take long for it to metamorphose uh, the pupation stage was not very long but having conversed with invertebrate dude about getting beetles to pupate it seems like a lot of them have the same pupation trigger that blue death finning beetles do when you're talking about desert tenebrionids and that is heat and so I keep the incubator at as close to 75 to 80 percent relative humidity as I can and as close to 88 degrees Fahrenheit as I can and this seems to have done the trick for this species I hope to uh, find the other larva and see if it's the actual same species and and also uh, hope to see blue death finning beetle larvae in there soon or not pup not larvae but um, adults in there soon having uh, done that before. I've produced adult uh, blue death fanning beetles, but it's been a while since I've worked on it, and so I'm, I'm glad to be trying it again. You'll notice that this has, its color hasn't quite stabilized into the, the dark shiny black that a lot of the Eleodes uh, desert and other desert tenebrionids um, have, and that's because it's still not fully sclerotized. In other words, it is partially tenoral. It's still a little bit softer than it will be as it has time to harden over time. For that reason, I'm not going to put it in with the other beetles because people have had experiences putting uh, tenoral or partially tenoral beetles in with their fully sclerotized adults and find that they just end up being a snack. So I'm going to give this a little more time before I do that. But I'm excited to uh, see what the incubator has to offer in the next little while and excited to have captive bred a new species for me. I know a lot of people have been breeding blue death fainting beetles in the last few years, and a lot of people have been breeding other uh, ten other beetles, tenebrionids from the desert and other things like that, for quite a while. But this is a first for me, and hopefully it will inspire some of the rest of you who haven't given it a try to do so. Once again, the uh, incubator is at 75 to 80% relative humidity and as close to 88 degrees Fahrenheit as possible. So if you do give it a try and it works for you, let me know. Let me know what your results are. I'd love to hear about it. The more captive reading we can do with the arthropods we work with, the better uh, for everyone. Thanks for watching this short video today. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.